Hi, everyone. Uh, today is January 23rd, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And, you know, I never make videos like this. I don't do these type of videos because I don't believe in drama. I don't believe in causing or stirring up trouble. It's not what I do. In fact, I usually go out of my way to make peace with everybody. But there comes a time where you're pushed against the wall, stabbed, shanked, whatever you want to call it, stabbed in the back. After a while, you have to say to yourself, you know what? It can be silent, you know, but that, are they taking advantage now of, of that silence? Are they taking advantage of your good hearted nature? Now, Glenn's Retro Show has been around for about eight and a half, nine years now. And, you know, when I started the channel, uh, my wife had passed away a couple of years earlier. Um, she had cancer. She died in 2009. And I was in you know, bad shape for a while, you know, uh, losing a partner. She was only 39 years old. Uh, my son, Cole, was only three years old at the time, you know, working. Uh, life was not good uh, for a long time. I had some friends, obviously, that, and some that were very special that helped me through a lot of bad times. But, you know, life doesn't always throw you a rose. Sometimes there are lemons there. And unfortunately, I had a big one back in 2009. So I started this channel. Um, again, it's, it was in a bad way. But I started posting things that I enjoyed, you know, Atari consoles, Pong, games that I played, enjoyed, mods that I was doing, things along those lines. And I was really happy doing it. I mean, the channel wasn't growing spectacularly, but I enjoyed what I was doing. I had my son doing some videos with me, which was kind of nice doing something with him. And then in 2018, um, I saw an ad for, you know, Arcade 1-Up. And I was blown away. These little arcade machines for about 300 bucks, Asteroid, Centipede, games that I really enjoyed. And, you know, I'd reached out to the, the company. And I was getting a, a, a no-name no channel. Not that I'm anything big right now, but it was definitely a no-name channel back then. And I reached out to Chizcom, who was the marketing person there. Asked if we can get an arcade sample so I could do reviews of these machines. And, you know, and to their credit, uh, Chizcom and Arcade One Up did send me an Asteroids and a Centipede back then to do a review. And, I was ecstatic. Um, I thought the machines were great. So good. Uh, even before I got these machines, I had started a little something called the official Arcade 1-Up Global Fan Page back in 2018. And uh, I started lots of other fan pages after the fact of that as well. Because my goal was I really enjoy these games. I enjoy the machines. I enjoy everything about them, and I want my kid and your kids and the other young people and even older people who played them to experience them again. But a lot of times these machines come out, they are not the best quality. And, you know, RK went up with their uh, asteroids, the spinner was not very good, and they had trackball issues. You know, and I was talking with Arcade One Up back then, um, but other companies as well, because I wanted the arcade companies and the community to talk, to communicate to help them build a better product for us to buy. And in return, they build a better product for the community. And I had also gone to RK1 Official uh, in New York City a couple of times. Now, I did sign an NDA. And uh, just with what I'm going to talk about right now, uh, I have to be very careful because I'm sure they would find, uh, like to do nothing better than to sue me because that's all that John D has said a few times, bring lawyers into the mix, which is kind of where I'm going with all of this. You know, I had gone to Arcade One Up a few times, you know, showed them some of my products. And, um, you know, we uh, gone back and forth and promises were made along the ways. And, of course, none of these promises ever came to fruition. Now, again, I'm a nobody. So, you know, I'm a little trusting. Um, they seemed like they were decent guys. And it seemed like things were going to move forward. But, you know, things don't always work out the way you seem. Um, I had told Scott and people at Arcade One Up, the reason I'm doing this is really to show my son that anyone, if you try hard enough at anything, you can make a mark for yourself. You can, you can show the world that you matter. And by the end of this video, I'll definitely let you know that RK one will make sure that they disprove, disprove that entirely. They will make sure they let you know you are a nobody and you don't matter. But in any case, I've talked to RK one since 2018. I ran this official RK one fan page since 2018. Uh, comes to 2020. Uh, we have a gentleman named John D, you know, which I was friends with back in that time frame. 
Uh, we used to talk uh, till midnight, one o'clock in the morning, going over machines and stuff along those lines, just talking back and forth. Had him on the RetroBuzz a number of times. But in 2020, right before CES, um, I was changing my fan page groups to reflect GRS a little bit more because I wanted people to know that this was a community run by me. So you knew it was a safe place to get in the community and talk among people. And so I changed it to the GRS official RK1 fan page, the GRS official at Games fan page, and so forth. When that happened, uh, John D threatened me a few times with uh, lawyers and lawsuits to sue me for a Facebook page that's mine. It's an official fan page, but it was my page. So we got back and forth to the point where I had to block him from the fan page. And, you know, a lot of stuff was going back and forth. And to save grace for John D and Arcade One Up, I came, we came to the idea of we're going to make it a CES. It was right before CES. We'll make that a CES joke to just drive up, you know, stir up the pot for CES. But it wasn't the case. He basically threatened to sue me because I changed the name to the page. So come, uh, again, throughout uh, this time frame, I was still working very heavily with Arcade One Up, uh, making products for them. Uh, dealing with a lot of their customer service issues, dealing with uh, a lot of people in the community, including other YouTubers, who are having lots of bad issues with their controllers and their boards, which I took upon myself to personally, this is on me, not on them, this is on me. I did this. I reached out to those people, sent them spinners or trackballs or things to make the machine work, even a Star Wars joke to like John Hancock who had problems with his machine, um, doing that things to help them out because I wanted people to buy these things because I had a passion for the company I really believed in the company. I believed in, in what they were doing. Even though, again, I don't want to say they didn't do anything good for me because they have. I have videos showing that they sent a bunch of arcade one-ups to my team at the hospital to show appreciation for it. So I'm not saying they haven't done any good things. But I am saying that there were other things that we talked about um, that never came to fruition. And I can't go into a lot of these details again because an NDA was signed. But again, uh, too many times John D was coming after me with threatening me with um, lawyers and, and other things. There were a lot of threats coming from him. So I basically went and said, you know what? It's not worth becoming their, their official person there. So I did change the name of the group to the original RK1UP fan page. Because I honestly didn't no longer, even though I believed in the games and the vision, I really did not believe in the leadership of the organization. I felt that they were a company that was very belligerent, a company that was very uh, aggressive against its fan base, that if you spoke of anything against them, um, I know that things have been said. I'm not going to say who said what, but I will say that they would say that they would drive you into the ground if you didn't agree with what they wanted. So I said, you know what? That's not a company I want to be associated with to that degree anymore. Um, it's not a whole, I want to live my life and do things my way. I'm a very honest person. Um, I try and give everyone multiple chances uh, with things, but there comes a point in time where enough's enough. So I said, you know what? I banned John D and his team from the official fan page. So I thought, you know what? I really shouldn't be calling it official anymore, even though that was granted that title back in 2018. In my heart of hearts, it wasn't the right thing to do. So I changed it to the original Arcade One Up Global fan page. But it gets me to really why I'm doing this video tonight. I mean, again, there were so many things here. Um, I could write a small book uh, when it comes to Arcade 1-Up. Again, I, they're, it's hard to read them sometimes. You know, they, they say one thing, and you, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but they constantly show the other thing. So I want to show a video that was shown today at Eastern Time. And I was actually reached out, I'm going to be honest, I was reached out to a few people beforehand to let me know this was coming. So I didn't, it wasn't a shock, but how it was presented did. So let me show you a quick little video clip here. Yeah, there's one other thing about the community that I think that you are really excited about. Um, yep. For the first time ever, it's been a long time coming. Um, okay, one up's going to be on Facebook. There is a Facebook group that is now official uh, for the yep. Facebook uh, fan page. It is run by the amazing, incredible Lewis Chambers, an incredible guy in the community. And uh, this is going to be a place where you're going to be able to go and talk to and interact with actual Arcade One Up employees. There's polls, surveys. They're they're really going to be watching this page to find out what you guys and gals really want. Sounds good, man. And so, like, that's, again, a part of our initiatives to be more transparent. This is what gets me right here, uh, is you know, Travis saying that RK1UP will finally be on Facebook in official capacity. Okay, the page above me right here was the original 
page from 2018. And you can see by what's over here, they even copied the basic design. And that probably be bothers me more than anything. They've, they've stolen things in so many different levels from me and someone who's been such a fan of theirs, someone who's had such a passion for the organization, someone who's been a voice for them for five years to not only do the things you've done to me over the past couple of years, but not only basically stealing the same page design as my page. So I'm going to exit this video. I always exit my videos because I want to show you guys how the, I am. Now, I always believed in sharing and promoting other people. And I've always done that and I've done it for them. But I just want to say that, you know, they find certain ways to make it so personal and hurtful against someone who was their number one fan, their number one supporter, someone who took his own money to make products, to help make their products better. Not to, not to make their products seem worse, but so people who bought their products who were disappointed with the controls or something along with it, to make it so they weren't disappointed with it, to make them happy with their product. And, you know, it's hurtful not only from this organization, for all the things that I did to help and do things for them and tried to do things for them, to constantly be shoved uh, basically aside, to be treated like garbage. But this is another icing on the cake. But also from other creators, other YouTube creators who know what's been going on and they've been silent. So I will still be here. I will be making videos, but it's probably going to be a much more reduced capacity. Because quite honest, the, the bad taste in my mouth from these companies, or so company, I'm going to say companies, because there are other companies like New Wave Toys, At Games, iArcade, um, Basic Fun, that have been really a joy to, to work with. And you know they don't do things like we're seeing right here with this and being told that they're finally going to be on Facebook when this was here since 2018. And they never did anything to promote it at all. However, they did come down to me if there was something they didn't like or something that was posted that they didn't like. And I had to deal with balancing what really is, is people's opinions. You should be able to speak opinions. A company should not squash or kibosh true issues with a product to make themselves look better or squash people who have real concerns about the product, um, which was, you know, I can't tell you the stress level that this had done uh, to me and how much it cost me on a personal level and with my son and my family and my, my day job trying to do this for these companies and this company in particular to be treated how it's been done. And again, this is not a video I normally would do. Um, it's just after I saw this tonight, it's like, you know what? Enough's enough. When you, when you stole basically the basic lookout look of my page as well, um, even after I relinquished the official part, you guys still did that. It's, it's, it's pretty lowbrow, and um, I'm sure I'll get another lawsuit again, threat from Arcade One Up on this, but you know what? I'm just done with it. I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. People are happy with it. Um, I don't know what else to say other than my severe disappointment in this organization and uh, basically taking your number one fan and proving to him that no, Glenn, one man can't make a difference. No, Glenn. You're not going to make a difference in the world. Let your son know that you're nobody. And you guys did a good job with that. So that's all I have to say. I'm going to close out my video like I always do to show you that I always promote these other people, including fellow YouTubers who I'm surprised have never defended this, me or this situation, even though you guys knew what was going on. I want to sign out and once again tell you, no matter what you do, how your day is, whether you watch this video or care what I had to say tonight or not, it's okay. Make sure you tell your family and your friends that you love them. Nothing's promised for tomorrow. Remember, game on.
Tiny Arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.